Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the minister for the answer. Speaker, the Liberals invoked the Emergencies Act without just cause, and they are now trying to cover it up. The government used extraordinary power on innocent Canadians, restricting their movement and freezing their bank accounts, and now they're trying to cover up the fact they did not need to use the Act. As Perrin Beatty, the author of the Emergencies Act, said, whenever you have extraordinary power, there must be extraordinary accountability. Where is the extraordinary accountability the Canadians deserve. What are the Liberals trying to hide when it comes to the Emergencies Act? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, I thank my colleague for the question. The accountability comes in the professionalism and the way that the police undertook their work to restore public safety. The way in which there's accountability, Mr. Speaker, is the ongoing way in which we're being fully transparent with the events that led to the invocation of the Emergencies Act including testimony before the, the committee and our planned cooperation with Judge Rouleau. Mr. Speaker, we invoked the act because it was necessary, it worked, and we will continue to be transparent about this. Thank you. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Speaker, the Liberals just trust us is not enough. This is the same Prime Minister that covered up his involvement in the SNC-Lavalin scandal. He covered up his involvement in the WE scandal. He's hiding documents right now around the Winnipeg Microbiology Lab. He covers up every single scandal that he is a part of. And now he's trying to cover up the fact that he was abusing his power when he invoked the Emergency Measures Act. Why do these Liberals think Canadians should just trust them on the Emergencies Act when they continually hide, cover up and deflect? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, with respect, it, it continues to be astounding how the uh, Honourable Leader for the Opposition continues to deflect uh, her responsibility for her conduct during the Emergencies Act for the posture of the Conservative Party, uh, who continue to encourage illegal blockaders to stay. And if they don't want to take it from the government, Mr. Speaker, listen to what the Canadian Association of Chiefs, uh, Chiefs of Police said. The Emergencies Act is critical to assisting law enforcement in addressing the mass national and international organization of the so-called Freedom Convoy. The words of law enforcement, nonpartisan, professional law enforcement, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, yeah,